Aren't we glad we learned to read and write? And because of that, Howdy folks, I'm Martha and I welcome you to Hirschberger's Miracle Homestead. Our video today is going to be a little different. We thought about not doing a video, but it is Easter weekend and we just did not want the weekend to go by without something special. We are Christians and we do believe in the birth, the death, the resurrection, and the coming again of Jesus. And this weekend is Easter and that is in remembrance of his death and celebrating the resurrection. So, simply what we're going to do, I have some sour cream cookie dough here that was in the refrigerator. I pulled it out, so it's not refrigerator cold anymore, nice and pliable. And we're going to create a message with the cookie dough. We do have a video on making the sour cream cookies, and we'll leave a link for that. Uh, Dorothy probably put the link up top here. Here or here, I'm not sure where it goes. We'll also have the link at the end of the video and in the description box. And that gives you the details of making the sour cream cookies. We grew up eating sour cream cookies. It was one of mom's favorite cookies to make for her family. So this goes a long way back with us. Okay, I'm going to push this away and pull in the cookie sheet and we're going to get started. Now I am using the parchment paper. This is a reusable parchment paper. It actually comes in a full size. We cut ours in half because the, the sheet that we often use it in has sides and this is a perfect size sheet to fit right down into the pan that we use most times. So we'll leave a link for these as well in the description box. But it is reusable parchment paper, very easy to clean up and reuse it again. Okay, I'm going to use a piping bag here with the sides folded down so my hands can reach up under it. I do have the oven preheated, it's ready, waiting on me. And I might add this, I am not a professional at this at all. This is just something I like to play around with at time to time. So don't expect anything miraculous here. You know, watch a beauty of art with baked goods, with cakes, why go pull up a professional's video and watch that. Okay. I'm going to write out a message on here and see how it turns out. And to you, it'll be backwards. I apologize, but I'll turn it around so you can see it then. I am lacking the end yet, but I'll put that on the next one. He is risen. This is a mixture of granulated white sugar and cinnamon. Okay, this cinnamon sugar mixture just tops it off. Okay, like I said, the oven is preheated. I will pop it in the oven and then we will get the next cookie sheet over here and get that loaded up ready to go to. I need an N, and then I think my S's leave a lot to be desired, so I'm going to do a couple more S's too. But first of all, the N. At Christmas, we have, we put this on along with the red sprinkles. Perfecto, perfect. Okay, let me put this here. Now I will let them cool for just a few minutes before I try to get them over onto the cooling rack. It'll be interesting to know if you all have any special memories to do with Easter, if there's any particular that you usually do at Easter. I remember as a child going up, Easter weekend, Friday was always what they called Fashion Bait Dock. That's Pennsylvania Dutch for fasting and praying on the Good Friday. These will be easy to get off. I 
There's one S that is a success. One more. Okay, the cross. And these are ready to come off. So I need to pull in another cooling rack. And by the way, do any of these depict the cross? <laughs> All right, here are the crosses. I will put these over there. The rest of these I'm just to bake up as a regular cookie. And as the letters are cooling down, I want to give a hearty welcome to all of our new subscribers. It's always exciting to see our channel grow like that. And we hope you enjoy your journey with us. We also want to give a big thank you to those who have liked and commented on our videos and shared them. That also helps our channel to grow, and for that we thank you. And also thanks for shopping on Amazon through our link. We are here, the cookies with a message are cold. Actually the letters, and then aren't we glad we learned to read and write? And because of that, we can write a message with cookies. And it's a powerful message. So I'll pull you in as we form the letters into words. I have the crosses over here. He. So it looks like for the cross, I had to bring the second cutting board in because that one is full. And there we have it, folks. Putting letters together to make words that give the greatest message ever told. He is risen. Well, folks, I thank you for joining me in the kitchen as we put this together. As I mentioned, we do have a video on making the sour cream cookies, and we'll leave a link for that. But we just wanted to create a special message for our special YouTube community. And this brings this part of the video to a close and we wanted to do something special for the inspirational golden thought. So Dorothy and I and Buddy are all together for that and I would be delighted if you would join us for that. Again, I thank you for joining me for this part of the video. Howdy folks and welcome to the golden thought of this episode. For us, it's an extra special golden thought because it's Easter. <laughs> so, I am Martha, and this is my special twin brother, Marvin. He's better known as Buddy. And this is our sister. I am Dorothy. <laughs> and as Martha mentioned, we decided to all three be together for the Golden Thought because it is Easter. And in thinking of Easter, it is so wonderful that he rose again and that we serve a living Savior, not one who is dead but one who has risen and he is alive. In thinking of Jesus' last days here on the earth, um, when he was on the cross, in John it mentions that he used the words, it is finished. And in Luke, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. And there was a quote that I found that I really liked. And it said this, the empty tomb is God's amen to Jesus' cry, it is finished. And when you think about that, that, that is so true. The empty tomb, Jesus rising again, is God's amen to Jesus' cry of it is finished. So I hope you have a wonderful Easter. 
as you reflect on what Jesus has done for us. And I'll turn it over to Martha. She has something that she wants to share to you. Sunday in church, our singing was focused on Easter songs, and it was just awesome. The unison of the voices singing and the message of the song. And when we sang this one song, I thought, thank you, Lord, I have my song that I can share with our golden thought. Although I won't be singing it, but I'll be reading the words. But this explains where I, where we are coming from. Mm -hmm. We ourselves are helpless to pay our debt for our sins and to enjoy eternity in heaven. This song, listen to the words, let it just sink in. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace, all day long. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. He paid that debt at Calvary. He cleansed my soul and set me free. I'm glad that Jesus did all my sins erase. And now I sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace, all day long. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. And this next one. One day he's coming back for me to live with him eternally. Won't it be glory to see him on that day? And then I will sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace, all day long. Christ Jesus paid a debt that I could never pay. When we sang that song, it just blessed my heart so and just expressed myself in a way that I didn't need any other words. I don't know what you have planned for Easter, but I hope that you have a wonderful day. I will be joining a sunrise service where we'll be having a special service, uh, remembering what Jesus has done for us, and then we will also be having communion and then a uh, fellowship brunch afterwards. So we're looking forward to that. But he had a tiring forenoon, so <laughs> we're just going to give him a pillow and let him sleep. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Here. And I will be here with Buddy while Dorothy's at the sunrise service. If you are joining us in the Golden Thought and you don't know about this man called Jesus, and you'd like to know, just ask you to reach out to someone to tell you about Jesus. <laughs> or even in our comments, we'd be happy to correspond with you as well. Jesus is for everybody in all countries, worldwide. It's a wonderful Savior. <laughs> we thank you for joining us on this special episode <laughs> with Easter. And hope you've been blessed, encouraged, and inspired. And with that, we'll bring this to a close. Thank you, and God bless. Until next time, God bless.